Thank you very much for hosting me back in Sarajevo uh, so soon again. It's a pleasure to be here, and this time I'm here with Team Europe, the Prime Minister of Croatia and the Prime Minister of the Netherlands. Um, and it was a very informative and a very good meeting that we had with all the different authorities um, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So first of all, let me praise and thank Bosnia and Herzegovina for fulfilling 100% and aligning 100% with uh, the foreign policies of the European Union. This sends a very clear and strong message. And indeed, you have demonstrated your commitment to the EU accession path. This was one uh, reason <coughs> why in 2022 you were successful in becoming candidate country. Then there was a big boost in moving forward. And now, last uh, December, the European Union has taken the historic decision to open accession negotiations once your country has sufficiently complied with the membership criteria. So what does this mean? We have seen some progress. We have seen a real commitment to the accession goal with important laws adopted for example, on the integrity of the judiciary. So you have shown that you can deliver if your country moves forward as one. And the more you deliver, the more convincing you are, and the better it is, the more you help me to produce a report that reflects this movement forward. To be very clear, we all four here share one idea for the future of Bosnia and Herzegovina in the European Union as a single, united, and sovereign country. That is our common goal, and that's what we are working for. It lies a lot in Bosnia and Herzegovina's hand to embrace the path that you have chosen and that you let nothing steer you off course. Today, we have discussed with uh, the different authorities the next steps to take. There is more work to be done. We need to see progress, especially, and this means adopted laws, on the fund fundamentals of the EU accession, that is democracy and the rule of law. It starts with the fight against money laundering, the conflict of interest, and, for example, the law on courts. As you know, the Commission will report to the Council on the progress by March, and EU leaders will then Negotiate, uh, discuss on this basis of the report. Besides that, um, I want to, we have discussed today intensively the growth plan. The growth plan is an offer, an offer of the European Union to integrate Bosnia and Herzegovina earlier, right now, in the single market. In other words, we open the doors in seven very important sectors for basically business um, in Bosnia and Herzegovina to come to the European single market. This has to be accompanied with reforms, not reforms for the accession, but economic reforms for level playing field. So it's in our common interest that our businesses do well. But these reforms are accompanied by one billion of investment, if done. So it's a huge opportunity. It's a huge opportunity to increase the prosperity of this country. Specifically, if the Western Balkan um, develop their common regional market, we know that we, you will have a growth of GDP of about 10%. So if you organize your common regional market and you have access to the single market, this is a big step forward. Uh, what the prosperity of the country is concerned, and of course a binding factor for youth, because young people have a perspective in this country. And therefore, I want to emphasize that we have designed this growth plan in a way that no other Western Balkan country can block its neighbors. It's only your decision to move forward um, towards the integration in the single market. So we had many useful meetings today, and uh, later we will meet with representatives of the civil society who play an important role. I have uh, placed the main uh, results of our meeting here, and I'm now happy to give the floor to my colleagues to the left and to the right. <laughs>